Pipkin Scott down at the bottom of lane number eight. He's the second fastest in the world so far this year. But you think about the difference in the time. That second fastest time in the world, 401. Seto, his time, 355. So it's still a huge gap between those two swimmers, potentially. And all eyes on Seto. This should be a race that he runs away with. It should be. But should be. Doesn't always win. I've heard, a, I've heard a rumor that he's on form though. I mean, we could see potentially a world record this evening. He missed the world record in Japan recently by five hundredths of a second, or sorry, two hundredths of a second over an event which is three minutes fifty-five seconds. It came down to two hundredths. I think he'll have a crack at it here. A great fly swimmer. He's a brilliant sort of fly swimmer. He's going to go out here. He's going to go out hard. This for him is about winning the race ultimately for the points, but. Let's see how fast it can go. Can he get near that world record? Yeah, he was about seven tenths faster than world record pace. Granted, we're only 50 into a, a 400 IM there. We'll see where he sits. But when you take a look at his splits from late October, he was under world record pace all the way to the final 50. And Seto's a huge addition for Energy Standard, the only unbeaten team in the ISL. And Becky's down with James Gibson, the head coach of Energy Standard. James, obviously Seto is an addition to your team. How important is he? Well, he's come in late, and uh, but that was the plan from the start. We did our roster pick around that. He's two seconds under world record pace right now. So uh, it's, we could be witnessing something, uh, for, well, the first world record in the final. I'm uh, quite excited about this one, actually. Well, you're the only team that's been unbeaten so far. How are you approaching this weekend? Exactly the same. No real changes as we go through. Um, we know our strategy. We know where we're strong. We know where we're weak. Um, you know what? A lot of the stuff, is, uh, the reports, we've seen that uh, they've put London up there in front and they put the American teams behind. But that's foolish to underestimate the Americans. They've come out here and they're, they're really swimming well. So it's going to be a tough, tough meet for anyone. Thank you. 152-2. World record pace and Ryan Lockie set this record back in... 2010, almost a decade ago, and you see the split 151.40, so still under that world record pace by a second. Yeah, he looks good, and Lochte was no slouch on the backstroke. He's a brilliant backstroker. I mean, you've got to be good at all strokes, obviously, to be a world record holder. It's almost looking like Seto sprinting every length of the pool. Litchfield just behind. Can it be a 1-2 for energy standard? Duncan Scott looking good down here in lane seven as, as, as well. You said second in the world this year. But Seto, he's setting the pace. Can he stay with it, though? Can he get under that world record? He looks absolutely fantastic at the moment, though. Look at this. Three swimmers on top. A huge gap between Seto and Litchfield and Scott. And then from there, there's a battle to get fourth. Favoring right now Andrew Selaskar. World record pace, 259.4. Let's see where Seto is with 100 meters of freestyle to go. 257.9. He's almost two seconds ahead of the pace. Yeah, he's one and a half seconds under that world record, and he's a really good freestyler. But he's worked hard at the beginning. We said before recently he was under the world record and just faded off at the end. But a second and a half under that world record is a lot. Can he hang in there? He's looking strong though. I don't see him fading at the moment. But three, maybe four minutes of swimming now has to take its toll. Has he got enough left in the tank? 326, still under world record pace. The world record 355.50 set almost a decade ago. Center trying to get the first win of the weekend for Energy Standard. And Daya Seto, he will touch first with a world record, the first ever under 355, 354.81, leading a 1-3 finish for Energy Standard. Oh, wow. That's absolutely awesome. He came in here. He'd been on form recently. He said he was going to have a crack at the world record. That was just phenomenal. He beat Brian Locke's world record by 0.7 of a second. Led him in the first.